Hi, I'm Ian and I'm the Lonely Chef. And we have a fabulously funny show for you in the next half an hour. At the end of the show, there's a number and I want you to jot it down and, and call me because, well, I'm single and I'm looking for a date and possibly a relationship and who knows, maybe even marriage. I'm looking to meet somebody special. I'm fabulously wealthy. I want to settle down and I want to share this wealth with that special person and just live happily ever after. So enjoy the show and hopefully we'll meet. Until we do, goodbye. Oh, uh, one more thing. <laughs> I do happen to lie an awful lot. <laughs> Lonely, I've been searching for so long. Lonely, only hoping you're the one who will change my life and make these dreams come true. Oh, 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 I hurt so much. Oh, oh, yeah. I really hurt so much. <laughs> All right. Well, what we're going to do is pretend that I am hurt beyond belief. And I have to pretend because I was actually hurt. Uh, but I have to tell you exactly what happened here. So I'll take my little eye patch off so that I can see everything here. Ah! You see, I was on assignment for British intelligence. And, uh, yes, true. And I was actually cooking up uh, for the entire Fifth Army of the United States in uh, one of the Eastern countries. And I had just finished preparing the buffet when um, a division of tanks ran over me. <laughs> yes. And anyway, I didn't mind that so much. It's just that when they realized what they'd done, they uh, put the tanks in reverse and ran over me again. <laughs> so uh, what I had to do was to fend them off, and that's how I injured my little finger here. <laughs> and um, so anyway, I uh, uh, unfortunately was a little late in delivering the buffet that the general's wife had uh, ordered for the Fifth Army, which was you know, somewhere around 150,000 men and uh, which I was preparing that morning in its entirety. So anyway, she really lost her temper and she beat me up. And uh, <laughs> now I am suing her and the entire United Nations and the Fifth Army. Unfortunately, no lawyer wants to represent me. However, I do have one coming over here and I'm going to cook up something very special for her. And uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to try and convince her to take my case and uh, maybe make a couple of million or so. Um, so stay tuned and we'll show you exactly how to sue the Fifth Army and the entire United Nations. We'll be right back in just a second. Well, I'll tell you something. I'm going to cook up a rockfish, a rock cod. Now, this is what's known as a bottom fish. And I don't know why bottom fish come to mind whenever I talk about lawyers. Do you? <laughs> well, <laughs> no offense to lawyers out there, but uh, you do know the old story that um, when you put a lawyer and a shark in a tank, what happens? Yes, the shark does have an identity crisis. Anyway, uh, what I'm going to do here, I am going to fillet this fish and then we are going to saute it in some butter 
a touch of garlic, a little bit of uh, rosemary, which is going to be very nice. And we will serve this up on a, a rice pilaf uh, bed of uh, whatever, and we'll have lots of fun with it. Okay, now, how do you take a fish like this? Now, you have to be careful because on the back, there are some very sharp spines. And these can hurt you quite a bit. Can you see that there? And they are very sharp, so be very careful. And, and it's handy to wear a pair of gloves, a pair of old gloves or something. And uh, the first incision that you have to make is underneath the dorsal fin. And basically what you do is fold this back and cut down here like so. Yes, I know it looks kind of grim, but what the heck. Uh, and across the back of the tail, right there like so. Then what we do is we just scrape down all the way along the rib cage here. Oh, I'm not doing a very good job of this at all. But we'll try it on the other side. <laughs> that is not very good at all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so we'll try another way here. What we'll do is make an incision along the back, like so, all the way down there. Then we will make the incision back here, like so. And just slide the knife down the fish, like so. Then we have our fillets. Now, they're not very big, but I'm just using this for demonstration purposes because this is what we use to uh, uh, get the, feet, uh, the, the meat from the fish. Basically, all we do is we put a little nick in the back end of it, and we take the skin like so and hold it, hold the knife still, and just work the skin backwards and forwards, and you have a nice cod fillet. All right, and I'll just show you on this one, although it's a little small again, just make a little nick down here, hold the skin, it can be kind of slippery, that's why you make the little nick, put the knife still, and then just pull the skin, which is pretty tough stuff, and you have a nice all right, so what we'll do is we'll get the, uh, the fish out of the way. We will have uh, some butter in the pan, and we'll do that right now. I'll take off my little rubber gloves here. And, well, as I told you, I am meeting this lawyer for this beautiful dinner tonight. And I'm going to cook up this wonderful meal, and um, I'm going to try to convince her to represent me in my suit against the United Nations for... Well, I mentioned $2 million before, but now it's up to $400 million for mental damages. <laughs> See, I have a rather large brain to be damaged. And uh, my psychiatrist and my therapist said, go for the big buck, because you are really sick. Anyway, <laughs> we, will take, we will take a little bit of butter here. We'll use a fresh knife. And we'll get that cracking into the uh, saucepan. And we will get that sizzling with a little garlic. And let's get that started. There we go. Get that started. All right. Now, we also are going to put in a little dill. Uh, dill and butter are one of nature's magic combinations. And just take that off of there. And we'll do this on this counter here. We'll just uh, move the knife very slowly through here. Get this nicely crunched up and put this into the pan. I think that's going. Oh, it's not going. My word. Maybe I didn't pay my gas bill. Huh. I should add on another $400 million. Yes, why not? Okay, there we go. That started. All right, next thing we're going to do is to take some tomatoes. And I really need to just move this across here like so. I'm just going to get a cloth and just wash this off. And we will get ready to just dice up these uh, tomatoes just a touch here. Actually, we'll just uh, do this. Just cut them up into small chunks. This is a very, very tasty and a very easy and a very healthy meal. Just put a slice down the middle and get that going like so. Now, if anybody out there has a joke about lawyers, I want you to write it down and send it in to me because I want to read it on the show. And the best joke that I get, I am going to invite you to be my guest on the show. So do that. It'll be a lot of fun. 
if you're a lawyer and you want to sue me, well, do that too. Come up with a creative <laughs> subpoena or something, and you can be my guest on the show and serve it at the same time. All right. We'll get this into here. Now you see that's getting to be nice and colorful. And we also put in a couple of little mushrooms, like so. Just uh, slice this up. And we have the basis of a very nice sauce on which to pour this fish. Now, one of the interesting things we do about this, uh, let me just get a little spatula here. Here we go. Now you see that is starting to go very nicely. And we'll just let that simmer. And we will be back in just a flash with this magnificent meal of rockfish bottom fish for this loyal lady. Be back in just a second. Bye bye. Any second now, this attorney is going to be coming through the door, and um, I'm going to try to convince her to be my personal attorney in this magnificent suit of mine, which I think has absolute merit, because I was run over by a uh, platoon of tanks, and um, uh, the general's wife beat me up because I didn't have the buffet ready for the Fifth Army. Uh, I've actually since, over the break, discussed this with various members of my staff, and uh, I think we're actually going for one billion dollars now. Isn't that a great no Now, if I win this, I am prepared, yeah, if I win this, I am prepared to share this with all of those people that write letters to me. <laughs> so, send in and I'll, uh, I'll uh, see what we can do. All right, I've got my little uh, legal gavel here, and I thought I would get in the mood by just uh, crushing some garlic here, and uh, so I'll, I'll bang this. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's another billion dollars. Oh, 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 I got wounded by garlic. Ah. Oh, I don't know if this is a good thing. Or... Holy moly, I don't know what's doing here. What's happening? All of my garlic has disappeared. I better do this quick. I'll go back to my old method here of just uh, squishing this with a knife and uh, putting this into, that's all I need. And we have a saucepan over here. We'll throw a little garlic in. All right. Now, here's the fillets that uh, uh, true cod fillets, and uh, they are absolutely one of the best, finest, lightest fishes that you can cook. Uh, we'll just cut these into uh, segments here. Now, one of the things that you should do when you go in the supermarket is feel along the ridge here. Uh, a lot of stores say they're fillets, but uh, when you run your fingers along the edge here, if you feel bones, forget it, okay? Uh, because they're not uh, filleted properly. You should be able to run your fingers along here and not feel any bones whatsoever. Uh-oh, she's here. Oh, <laughs> better do this and, um, uh, yes, come on in, come on in. Oh, 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 boy, don't you oh, look nice. Oh, you look a little rough. Oh, yes, uh, I'm glad you came. I'm feeling a lot of pain here. I think that we're probably up to a couple of billion by now, but uh, oh, how are you? Much? Nice to meet you. Oh. You look absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you. I've uh, had a rough day at the office. Oh, you have? Yeah. Just came out of chamber. Oh. Saw me a few minutes late. You've been in the chamber? Yeah. Now, which chamber is this? Civil court. Oh, civil court. You just court. have to sit and wait your turn oh. to hear your case. Okay. But it's all settled now, right. so now, we can get on with the evening. Okay, so uh, you know roughly what I'm suing the government for in the United Nations. Oh, the for. government, are you? Yeah, a couple of a couple of billion dollars, oh. and uh, they ran <laughs> Why over. Why is me. that? Well, they ran over with me with a with a division of tanks, and oh, uh, did they leave the tracks on you? Well, yes, they did, <laughs> and uh, you can see them later if you like. Have you got pictures? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean for evidence? Well, you can yes, take definitely. some pictures later oh, too, I'm, if I'm you <laughs> wish. Um, <laughs> I think we'll hire a cameraman for that. <laughs> All right. That's their specialty. Uh, excuse me just one second while I put in this uh, it little piece a little of pot. It's It does. It is strong. It's the garlic that you're smelling there in the butter. Well, I'm and, smelling uh, something stronger than garlic. Uh, it's probably me. Oops. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I splashed a little butter More over injury. myself. More injury. More injury. To insult? Yes, injury uh -huh. to insult. So, uh, what I'm cooking up here is some uh, cod and some uh, nice little sauce here with some dill and some rice. 
and uh, that's been turned off here, so we'll Ooh. just leave this. Smells good. Yes, it's absolutely wonderful. But you know what I think we should do is remember that, now watch your dress on here because that does tend to splatter a little. I'll just do turn that down. Do you have a cane? Uh, yes, a cane. Uh, I use this because, well, you know, it's been quite a, quite a session here and I think that I'm suffering mental damages. Oh, and uh, that's why you have a cane? Yes. I see. Uh, yes. Uh, well, it's not just that, it's just that I go into these strange things where I do something without even thinking about it. You know, I oh, can be... Such as? Well, oh, uh, is that your phone? That's my phone. Excuse oh. me for a minute. Okay, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll just uh, deal with this and uh, flip the rice and... Oh, that's a busy lady. <laughs> well, duty calls. Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, I have two. Would you like one? Oh, yes, sure. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Yes? Certainly, we can set up an appointment tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. That would be just fine. We'll review your case then. Okay, thank you. Oh, well, busy lady. Yes. <laughs> well, um, as I was saying, I, I tend to go and do things that uh, for, for no reason. And it, it, I don't know when it happens. It just happens. I mean, just all of this... Wrong place, wrong time. Well, that's right. I mean, for instance, uh -huh. I could take this thing and I would normally sprinkle this in here like so, just to put a little coating on. Oh, yes. But then all of a Please sudden I might here. lift this up and go... Oh, <laughs> like that. I see. And, and that's not I a good thing to do. I don't think we can do a claim for you on, based on flour injury. Well, it's not just the flour, it's the addiction to aluminum that oh. the flour is in. Oh, I see. And I oh, think or this, maybe there's lead in there too. Well, I think it comes from the tank tracks. You oh. know, and this is all relevant. <laughs> this is really relevant. I see. Should so, I be taking notes here? No, I don't think so. I think you should just videotape. Ah. Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, what we should do is uh, go into uh, some of the benefits of this kind of eating, and, and if nothing happens, we should be able to eat something before we discuss the case and maybe oh. get into your briefs on oh. this case. <laughs> um, I'll take that. <laughs> the, um, the briefs that uh, we went over in the uh, uh, hearing, uh, and I think you call it a preliminary hearing? Yes. Yes, uh, they are relevant to my case, and I think we should are go they? over them. And, okay. Uh, yeah, I think that uh, Well, we that should. would take some time, definitely. We'll set up an appointment for you tomorrow at 10 o'clock then. 10 o'clock, yes, all right. Yes, I now have a 9 o'clock appointment. Okay, super. Okay. All right, well, listen, I'm going to serve this up. I have a dish here, oh. and I'm going to move over here and get this uh, uh, piece of um, uh, tray of uh, parsley, and it's nicely... Nicely cooked, and I'm going to just put Nicely this on. Nicely cooked. It's, oh, well, oh, you cook parsley? You see, this is the problem. I, when I was ran, <laughs> run over by those tanks, I say things that I don't mean anymore. Oh, it's terrible. Definitely I mean, a sign of brain damage. Well, people think that I'm lying all the time. <laughs> you know? Well, it's awful. You do have a difficult time getting around. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. I think it's time to use the cane. Oh, yes, right. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yes, there we go. Okay, now fish right. on the stick. And now we put a little bit of this over here. And we have this delicious sauce over here. Like, oh, this is wonderful. This beautiful dill and oh. Dill. Oh, yes, Nicely there's a little done. dill in there. Goes yes. well with fish. Yes, it does. Definitely. Yes, it does, does. All right, and we have a little rice here. If I could just oh. move you need a hand over there. here. No, 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 it's fine. I, my finger is here. It's. Uh, oh, where's it's, the finger bin? Um, it. <laughs> I was uh, I was repairing I was repairing one of the tracks the on the tracks. tank when it started up and uh, it was just one of those moments ah. and uh, we just put a little rice around here like so and okay. make that look very nice. Looks we good. have a wonderful meal. But this I don't is, know about this bandage on your wrist here. Well, it's uh, another wound. Uh, when I was in the national fencing championships, oh. that's when I first <laughs> I started it. How long it. ago was that? Uh, last week. Oh. And uh, it was just before Last I got... Week before you got run over by the tanker. Oh, my gosh. Uh, my memory's going. Uh -huh. I have to be careful Definitely. how I answer this. Um, otherwise, you might think I was lying, and this is a real problem. Uh, oh. Well, we do come across people like that. Well, uh, I mean, I guess... But we'll this... put you through the polygraph test. The what? <laughs> the polygraph test. You know where you speak into the microphone, and they have a tape recorder, and they can tell 
whether oh or not on the scale, oh. whether you're lying or I not. I feel faint. I feel faint. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly. Shall I help I suddenly... you to the chair? Oh, actually, I'm or feeling a lot better. Much better? Okay. I think it's the smell of this fish and oh, the, the rice is just gorgeous. What uh, type of fish? It's like a, a bottom fish. A bottom fish? Uh, oh. It has a and... big bottom. Oh. <laughs> oh, are you insane? Uh, I'm something? actually feeling a lot better since you've arrived. Oh, I'm Thank so you very glad. much. Could I so sort glad. of hug you and, and stuff? With, and... with the flowers? Oh, yes. Oh, boy, okay. I, was, I think it was that polygraph test. Just that sort just of... just perked you right up. Whoa. Okay. Oh, well, anyway. we can schedule that into our busy schedule. <laughs> no problem. All right, we have this delicious meal here. We're going to serve this up in just a second. And do try this because it's absolutely wonderful. Talk at you later. Bye-bye. Now, I must advise everyone at home to try this meal because it's wonderful, it's uh, very good for you, it's very nutritious, it's uh, cod fillets. Uh, and it's on a, safe to eat? It's safe to eat. Oh, even bed. though it's been at the bottom? <laughs> it, it's on a bed okay. of rice with a nice uh, mushroom, tomato, uh, garlic sauce sprinkled over the top, mm, just touched good. off with uh, tomato. So, can okay. I offer you a glass of wine perhaps? Oh, certainly. Uh, but I go. think first I'll just uh, take some of this flour off here. <laughs> your uh, eye there so you don't get an eye casualty out of you. All right, well, what I should do is actually uh, just uh, put this candle out uh, because, you know, I think it's more romantic oh. with just two candles, don't you? Isn't that rather risky? Well, or have your nerves pinched? <laughs> no, when in British accident. intelligence, we actually had to learn how to do this. So oh. It's true, it's true. Oh, I... <laughs> ah, whoa, whoa. Oh. 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 We should go get some ice. Oh. Shall I go get some ice? Oh, oh. 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 Uh, there you go. That's your glass, right? Yes, of course. Okay. <laughs> Let me pour one thank for you. Thank you. I'll have some. Yes. There you go. Oh, thank you. Well, here's to uh, a successful day in court. And um, what is your percentage now out of this $6 billion? Oh, definitely. I think I'll take 90% now. Would sounds, you like the other 10? It sounds fair to me. I mean, that's lower than most lawyers oh. that I've dealt with. So, <laughs> one catch, though. <laughs> one We'd catch. have to add up all your casualties here. Ah, yes. Well, I think what we should do after dinner is we should uh, take an inventory of my war wounds. And, um, war wounds? <laughs> my war wounds. <laughs> Which war was that? Well, this is the war that I had with the general's wife. Oh. Uh -oh. And uh, subsequently, the war with her husband. Um, it that was, could be uh, a war. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's to a successful legal career and um, uh, I should say mud in your eye, but I could think How about... How about flour? <laughs> flour <laughs> Very apropos. Bye-bye, and okay. uh, good luck to everyone and everything. Mm. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Can I serve you a little here and just... Uh, picture For a copy of the Lonely oh, Chef Cookbook or videotape of how you can be my guest on the show, or to join our Chef's Club where you could meet someone special on one of our romantic getaway parties, call 1-800-665-CHEF and have your credit card ready. If you would like to write to me personally, please send your letter to P.O. Box 740, Everson, Washington, 98247.